Dre and Adrian and Freely are wrong. They are all wrong. Fuck man. You can't keep up with Dre and Adrian for 500 meters on a steep hill. And you're saying he's wrong, you know? There's so much inspiration for other people. Bringing in the fitness, bringing in the good food, you know? People are just fucking jealous because they, they just can't achieve what they have, you know? They are putting up the free event and people are still complaining because they put up the rules to eliminate the shit cans out of it. People can't get their shit together, you know, like they have uh, addictions, um, daddy and mommy issues, as doing other set. And uh, they come to the festival because they think that doing other and freely gonna take care of them and resolve their issues. And you never see them fucking training up the steep hill. You never see them uh, buying a road bike. You never see them riding a road bike. Uh, you only see them creating drama. And it's usually these, uh, these people who will never get far in their life. And, um, or it's usually these uh, spiritual woo woo bullshit guys who, uh, who just like, you know, don't like doing artist approach because he is not pretentious, he just says as it is. I had to unsubscribe from so many channels because just, you know, like, it's reality between fakeness. Many people will good, tell you good things about your bad habits, but during now they won't do that, you know? He just tells you as it is. He's been, he has so much experience in his life with fitness, weight loss, and shit cunt industry that he can see through the bullshit. And he can see when people are coming to his event to trying to make money off of him, to sell, uh, Sure, that cost 200 baht to make, or less, 100 baht to make for 700 baht, like Henya. They're like, I want to buy a shirt. Uh, Henya was selling shirt last year at the festival at Q&A, and um, and we're like, uh, how much would you pay? We're like, uh, 300 baht is about the limit. We ask Kenya, how much is the shirt? She's like, fucking. She said 20 or 30 dollars, don't remember, but it was around 700 baht, which is which is around 20 dollars. It's like fuck, man. And we're like, sorry, Henya, like we're a little bit like confused, like no, maybe later. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's enough of this bullshit. Like people don't come there to make, to buy vegan shirts. They can just order it online or whatever. Uh, another cyclist. He's on a road bike. I want to see his fucking cassette, man. Some fucking dogs up there. Hello. <laughs> oh. Good job. Very good. Because it around, yeah. Any bike up there? Uh, one bike was up there. Okay. One bike. Tanya Pura. Yeah, good job, man. <laughs> it comes down. Oh, look, look, look. Is I would take care of dogs here. Looks like a wolf. Yeah, man. These guys getting out there, training up the steep hill. While bitches are complaining at home while they can't go to Thai Fruit Festival because they don't have a road bike. But they want to lose weight. But they don't want to fucking ride a road bike. What the fuck? They think they just can eat like... Uh, vegan restaurants every day and sit on their ass in Starbucks 
and lose weight. Fuck no. Anyways, don't be a shit cunt. You know, it's I understand people come from different country, get to Thailand, it's too hot, whatever. They don't know like where to go, don't know where those step is. But you have to come with a uh, attitude of gratitude. Of course, when we came first time to Chiang Mai, we we're also like, like where's we told fruit is everywhere, you know, where's the fruit? You know, it was too expensive. Um, had to wake up too early. But you just have gotta have that attitude of gratitude, you know, like. It was just the first day and afterward just like wow man this is amazing like like-minded people um i was also like anxious a little bit when we got there like like where is everybody why why don't i see cyclists everywhere you know because chiang mai is big you're not gonna see cyclists the first day maybe just just to live near the marina inn near the Muang Mai, Muang Mai market and there's gonna be plenty of uh carved up cyclists but uh, yes, just uh, my tips, if you come to the Thai Fruit Festival, well, that's another video. Uh, anyway, stop being a shit cunt, be great, grateful for what you have, and um, do another, another freely, are inspiring so many people, so thumbs up for them, thumbs up for the festival, and let's smash some hills.